Good evening on a windy Monday. It's good to be with you tonight. I hope that you had a good day. Um, before I start, I do want to mention something. Uh, we do have a prayer request. Uh, Pastor Dave Sheldahl from Mott was in a farm accident, and he's in St. A's Hospital in Bismarck, and will probably be laid up for a little while. And, and so if you would remember him in prayer, I hope that you've been watching some of Dave's uh, devotionals that he's been sharing. Uh, you know, if you've seen the cowboy guy, that's that's Dave, and I just uh, we just want to really pray uh, for his healing. Uh, also, they're doing a front a fundraiser to for medical expenses. So, if you could remember the Shaldals in prayer, and uh, we're just glad you're here tonight. I hope you got to see the service yesterday. I talked some about uh, unforgiveness and bitterness. And I'm going to do some of that this uh, in the next this week. But tonight I just want to lay a little bit of groundwork before we get back into that subject and the importance of response to the Word of God and how we respond to God's Word to, be, to see it um, really change our lives. And we're going to start with uh, reading out of 2 Timothy uh, chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. And it said, But you must remain faithful to the things you have been taught. You know they are true, for you know that you can trust those who taught you. You have been taught the Holy Scriptures from childhood, and they have given you the wisdom to receive the salvation that comes by trusting in Christ Jesus. Now, this was Paul writing to Timothy. Uh, Paul was like a spiritual father to Timothy, and he, would, he had uh, trained him. He had been speaking into his life. Uh, but the wonderful thing about Timothy was that he had a grandma and a mom who taught him the scriptures as well. And so um, he just reminded him of that. Remember what you've been taught. Don't forget about it. And don't forget about your trust in, in Jesus Christ. And then he goes on to say that all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. So, as followers of Jesus Christ, or if you want to grow in your faith, you must be a person who studies the Word of God, but not just read it and then study it, but actually apply it. Uh, Pastor Ron Engett uh, from uh, New Life uh, Church in Bismarck and, and Beulah, they have a number of campuses, has been doing devotionals. And I'm going to steal a little bit of what he said this morning because it just really is an incredible uh, word that he shared. And he talked from uh, Mark 4, uh, verses 24 through 25. He said, then he added, Play clo pay close attention to what you hear. Jesus is saying to the disciples, pay close attention to what you hear. The closer you listen, the more understanding you will be given, and you will receive even more. To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given. But to those who are not listening... Even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them. He made a comment about people in the church, about having uh, two types of people. You can have two, different pe two separate people come to church, and you can have them come Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, but you will have different outcomes. You can have somebody who comes into church hears the message, listens to the message, hears the word of God, and responds, and studies, and grows, and applies. And when they do that, their life and their faith grow, 
and they have an impactful life. On the other hand, you can have people that come to church Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, hear the same message, but it doesn't, they don't apply it. They don't listen closely and say, you know what, God just spoke to me today and I need to do what he says. And that's why I'm, why I'm laying this groundwork is when we get into the next few nights talking about unforgiveness and bitterness, the continuation of talking about that, it is so important that you listen with ears that hear, see with eyes that see, and have your hearts prepared to receive God's word and apply God's word to your life. Um, you could turn it to Luke 16.10. Now this is a, the reason there's blessing and favor when we listen to what God says. Uh, because Jesus was telling a parable and one of the things in the parable says, the one who manages the little he has been given with faithfulness and integrity will be promoted and trusted with greater responsibilities. But those who cheat with the little they have been given will not be considered trustworthy to receive more. So when you hear the word of God, and you may say, I don't understand it. But if you seek to understand it, to put it into practice, and to let God's word through the power of the Holy Spirit, and you ask the Holy Spirit to use the word to change your life, then you're gonna be a faithful steward of that word. And the more you get, and as you grow, the more you'll understand, and the more revelation you'll have, and the more you can apply God's word, the more impact it will have in your life. And the last verse I'm gonna to share tonight is this, from Matthew 25, 23. This is to the one who has done what he is supposed to do. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. I want to encourage you. Would you make a determination? to say to the Lord, I want to be faithful. And you, maybe you're just starting out in your faith or maybe you haven't been growing much, but you say, Lord, I wanna be faithful in hearing your word and applying your word. And I want it to make a difference in my life and a difference in my family and a difference in the people I'm around. If you will make a commitment to the Lord to allow him to do that in your life, then you will be a good and faithful servant. And God's hand of blessing and favor will start just exploding over you as he gives you more and more revelation of who he is and who you are in Christ. So I hope you have a good night and uh, we'll hopefully see you tomorrow night.